been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting career careers day. in biochemistry. Boring. What? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. Okay. <laughs> how are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. Uh, right here? Yeah, I see it. Yep, I see it. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, you got it? <sighs> got it. Nice. Here, watch your head. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what a nice Jesus, place. What the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead oh. long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? I can see that. Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. No, you don't! Oh, Hold up, I'm already grappled. I got it, man. Don't worry. I forgot we were going loud for a second. I grabbed a different gun for this, but it is what it is. That's it. Yeah. Pretty easy. Come on down. It's clear. Okay. One sec. Damn it, you're so lucky. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh shit! What's happening? Deacon! Oh shit, shit, shit! Oh. Damn it! Uh, We're fine. Find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! You better hurry up, ma'am. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot you, but I totally got you. Nice dodge. Take it here! Thank you. Easy peasy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Why are we laughing? I don't know. Because <sighs> it's a good you time. Know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> and now you finally got your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> you ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's go. One sec, I gotta reload. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one I don't know about a bomb, but... Come on. I think we can get through here. Okay. A lot of cinematics. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. You mean I locked? I got it. Ooh, nice. You're dead. See? Like I said, I got this. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of hot. Good job. Nice. It's a skill right there. Damn. I can see why you in the military. How badly do you need Democracy. Of... What the fuck is that? Yeah, good job. No. Good freaking job. No. No. Push the truck. Hold on! No, no, no. Where'd she go? God damn it, Sarah! 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 No! Damn it. No. Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! If anything's happened to you. I think she's fine. Sir. Yeah, the ammo, ma'am. Hey. God, 
That's the face of just There's, accepting fate. There were so many of them. There was. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You're okay. You need another mag. You gotta reload. You ain't even got a mag in the gun, I'm pretty sure. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. Nice. Make sure you reload. You're walking around with an empty gun, man. Far enough? No. Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Perfect. Yeah. Come on up, ma'am. Coast is clear. Pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. Yeah, they get so real pissed. Have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? Why? You remind me of that little girl. Unfair. Oh. Fucking stand. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. I know. There's more of them. I see you. Oh, I'll get wrecked. That's the last of them. You good, ma'am? I saw that. You freaked out a little bit, but I took care of it. Well, killing newts? I did, actually. No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. They are, but I still right, enjoyed it. That. I don't care. Here, they're not children, they're zombies. Okay. Actually, they're worse than zombies. Cool. Steady. You think this is a good idea? This feels... This. If you say so. Nice catch. Living in filth is one thing. Living in actual shit, though? I don't think anyone can do that. That would be a skill no one could... I, I wouldn't be able to possess. That's for damn sure. Living in filth, no problem. I can do that easily. Yeah, I'll get it. There's no, uh... Bullet holes, no sign of it. Violence or attack. Did it just decay? Hemlock. They killed themselves? Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. Die with dignity. May God save us all. Dale. Oh, oh, that's a boom right there. I guess I should have done a better job of hiding the bike. Alright. Yeah. Let's do this. Did you reload? I hope to God you reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do nothing. See if the freaks will kill him. Oh, shoot him. We can shoot him. Look out. I see him. It's as clear as it's gonna get. Easy peasy. You pulling your machete for? Smoke. 
Real nice smoke. Oh, there's more. There's way more. Still good. Look at that. <clears throat> what, are you, what are you doing with your eyes for? Are we not going to get back together? Is that what's happening right now? Even all these weird vibes? That can happen, though. Can I say thank you? Yes. No. No, okay, fine. Okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. You're welcome. I got shot, apparently. I need to go to the doctor real quick. You're welcome. Taylor, what's going, what's going on? What's going on, Taylor? Can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Like, something's gonna happen to the doc in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. Hey. <laughs> I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you I ain't taking you, bro. Oh, you're a doctor. You're serious? You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right. Well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't entiendo. what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This sir, I can true. look out for him. He's Dismissed! Yeah, that Corporal? was... Yes, sir. Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. Yes, but you're the but only again, doctor. If anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Wait a minute. He is the only doctor, but now we're... Wait a minute. Hmm, <laughs> I ain't going back in there. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I, I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, I might. But, uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You... <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can I take do. me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? No. Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Exactly. See, now you got her confused. You just tortured her a little bit right there. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Perfect. Perfect ending. Look at that. Don't mind the blood. I got shot. With you, by the way. Okay. I'm gonna put that out there. <laughs> yes. Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Extremely Thanks. well. Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. 
He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. Thank you. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's standing. You know, now I'm starting to think that maybe the dock is a little bit something more intimate. But granted, it is the only doctor, so. <laughs> hey, hey! Shut it off! What the hell, why? You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. You're in a difficult what spot here. What are you here. still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> True. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. You do that, ma'am, sir. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Probably. Let's hope so. We're going out for equipment anyway, so... Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. It's still going, too. Somebody has to be in there, right? Okay, all right. The power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we going to get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since Damn. your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. Aerie, true. <clears throat> Don't touch that tree. Oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... <sighs> what the hell? Look at this. You didn't There's see that so from outside the cave? Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power is on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power yeah. is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. You're going to close the gate? That would probably be a smart idea. See? Come on. What happened? I missed it. I missed whatever just happened because I was talking. A whole lot of cinematics now. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Anyway. <laughs> A lot of freaking crows. <laughs> Got real comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Real confident and she started hitting the fan, that's for sure. Mm. And we're good. We live. How is there witness at this car? That's the real question. Crows. Mm. They're infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. That makes them a pain in my ass. Bro? I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. I doubt that. Okay. Come on. Right. <laughs> Why don't you get out the, the other door? Okay. What 
the hell happened here? I don't know. Hmm. They shot Sarah, these uh these people all worked here right did you know them yeah then they got shot yeah i knew them let's go come on okay is it another cinematic okay so someone shot them all yeah they were what trying to leave that's what it looks like yeah I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. Excellent question. No, I wasn't here. Kind of thing. What I mean? Probably not. Damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Hmm. Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Yes, it has. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Well, they just forgot. Get down. Mother fuck you. Were saying. What happened? Stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see yep. the point of that. Yep. Trust no one. Expect the worst. Got it. Stay up here and give me cover. Do whatever you can to distract them. I'll signal you when it's clear. Clear. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. Ooh, uh, where? Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Got it. It's clear. It's coming. How did the blood get up there? Oh crap! I don't believe you, ma'am. It's clear. Thing, ma'am. That's behind the door. Do you do you think? There you go. Hold on. Yeah, I know. ID two zero zero seven six five. Didn't put your hand. Oh yeah, you did. Okay, never mind. Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Override security protocol Alpha seven six one has been overridden. Alert, oh, God, alert. Walk up this is a level four. They alert. must not have locked out under security. You ready? Uh, yes, time. Let me go in first. Hey, this time we go in together. Uh, no, I'm gonna go in first. I got an LMG, ma'am. Where? One second. There's more of them. Alert. Alert. shooting at, though. We good? We good. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disabled. Get bullets on you, sir? Well, you ready? Yeah. Huh. Jim, wait! 
That son of a bitch. Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID five four two nine zero zero nine. You got that? Five four two nine zero zero nine. Got it. Five four two nine zero zero nine. Is that right? Yeah, let's go. Five four two nine zero zero nine. Easy peasy. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect. Deacon Dennis! Lee St. John. ID five four two nine zero zero nine. Yep. Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome she's to Cloverdale. She's up there! She's up there! This is your first login. Like Please. Disable voice response. Come on! Get her! Damn it, you listen to me! Many shots. Many, many shots have been fired right now. No, I ain't. I would have if you were smart enough, but I, you weren't. The last of them. Perfect. No. Sarah died. How did she die? How did Sarah die? Don't matter, cause we're that we're just, we're just that good. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> but it's cinematic. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh god damn it! I said hands! All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. Check the corner. Perfect. Good job. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? It's an unnecessary risk. I wouldn't want it. We just couldn't take the risk. Exactly. Unnecessary risk. Get up. What? What are you doing? I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. He just puts his hand on there and just opens. Okay. I had to say my name like five times. You know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Also true. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. <sighs> and, uh, both unnecessary risks. He could have just sabotaged you anyway if you let him go. <laughs> so, either way, both, both, both correct outcomes. <laughs> it's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What do we do? What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're we're high tech and all that shit, and that there are billions of dollars at stake, and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. 
He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I, don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't Dale. stop them. You How don't you understand. It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> That's true. They did do that. <laughs> They made that from flowers, by the way. That's crazy. Uh, oh, hold, hold on for a second. So, uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay. Um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to be right there. Okay. That girl's gonna have an experience for the rest of her life now. Okay. Head on a swivel. The fence off. That should do it. Perfect. And cinematic back to the camp or whatever. We're going. Uh Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. I didn't shoot that camera. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer. Yes, it is. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. You can be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this- Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good. Good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, Boozer, he does look like a security you guy. You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. Hi. 
But uh, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. Candles are boring. Don't light no candle. Actually, I like candles. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yes. Yeah. He's chilling. He's actually head of security now. Good for Boozer. Yeah, yeah. I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. It's already turned. What do you mean? What do you think? I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I don't know about you. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. Wow, well, the cinematic. Holy crap. Once you get into the game, all the good parts is just a lot of cinematics. You know, the first half you get to actually play the game. The second half, it's like a mix of both. And then the third half is just mostly cinematics. And it, it, the cinem it feels like you have to have to wrap up so many parts of the story in the last part. That's what it is. But uh, I don't play I don't play a game to watch a game. You know what I mean? Unless it's like a telltale. But even then, I'm still playing. I don't know if we needed that one scene. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe we did. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have known what happened there. Oh, was he jealous? Excuse me, sir. Are you a little jealous? I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature. And it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird. I can't see before. 